Fortuna, Fortuna, spin your wheel upon us. I decided I'm going to start watching Star Trek. Imagine getting eliminated based off your dick. Welcome to the Medieval Science of Podcasting. Flip, we should flip the picture back at Fennel so he can see himself. <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeah. He'll start Too like wait. He'll start like making handsome we should, faces. Dude, we should hit him with the Truman show, dude. <laughs> <laughs> wait. <laughs> Damn. Wait, which one is me? That um, would be funny if you do, if you made a documentary about your friend in a week, like a podcast about them, and you didn't let them know you were doing it. You're like, you're like, dude, your whole life is on a TV show right now. <laughs> you <don't even> know. <laughs> if you Truman showed your friend from yeah. a distance, I think it'd be, that would actually be like a nice thing to do for somebody. <laughs> Record them against their will. <laughs> <laughs> that would, dude, that's such that's a true. loving act. True. That is true. That's, Especially if what you're like, doing is you're trying to turn a mirror back into their heart. For you know sure. what I'm saying? Especially if it's someone you had like a recent falling out with. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you think that would like heal? Would that heal the bond, or would that be like a a, a weapon against them? It, dude, if you, it depends if you on what you, so you can do. You can do sweet or savory. <laughs> <laughs> you can let them know. You can put both elements in there. Mm-hmm. You could you could edit like real fucked up stuff in there. Yeah. I recently sent. So I was going to send somebody a text of just sniper rifles. <laughs> I was irked at them and I was just going to be just be like, just communicate like my feelings. Just send them a text of sniper rifles. Yeah. Like, just checking them out. <laughs> just checking them out. Don't these sniper rifles look cool right now? <laughs> Actually, you can't even kid about it. It's like not that far off of a possibility statistically now. What do you mean? Getting just a sniper one rifle? of us snipe out. <laughs> Dudes are sniping. Yeah. Dudes are sniping out. <laughs> No, that would be, that would, that would be I mean, big news I mean, if they were sniping. True. I mean, there was like true. one big sniper. Yeah, but I mean, think about how uh, it was so unheard of like 50 years ago for somebody in a town to snipe out. Now, like, if you have a town of 6,000... One per generation is a lot now. (laughs) (laughs) If you have a a town, dude, of 6,000, statistically speaking... 0.5 0.5 are gonna <laughs> think about could sniping. You, bro, <laughs> could you imagine how sick it is dinging someone from really far away? <laughs> that's gotta be the best thing. Just after penning some like unlegible oh manifesto, like, <laughs> now that that works complete. Oh man, <laughs> let's see how I do. It's like that Olympic uh, race where like, they have to ski and then they have to fucking <laughs> the biathlon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a cr- the James Bond race is crazy. I just saw that this year. <laughs> <laughs> the odd job. I got a silver medal in the odd job. <laughs> yeah, I'll snipe. Dude, I mean, I, I mean, I'm gonna say I'm sniping. There's like, there's a period in every boy's life where there's a couple of years where you're like convinced, like if I went the sniper route, I'd be gifted at it. <laughs> you have to believe that you'd be a For sick sure. sniper yeah. as sure. a part of growing up. Dude, when you when you you ever see that show that's like the like the ten best snipers in history. I, you know, I've seen stuff like that. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know if it was, it was the same one. Oh, yeah. I was just saying, like, what is it like uh, after Ancient Aliens? Yeah, it was. It, was. <laughs> it literally was. And then uh, there was like, they talked about this one guy, and they're like, you know, he has the record for the longest snipe at a mile. Who was it? My dad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, instantly when I was watching, I was like, yeah, I could do two. You could snipe? Yeah, if I could probably do two miles at a snipe. Yeah. I got pretty good eyes. Two mile snipe? I've never sniped so wait, a day in my to, life, but instantly it was You're like, gonna double his record? I think I could. Never I'm, sniped in your life? You're like, I'm gonna I'm gonna double double this guy's record. Dude, I dude, got the passion dude, for the DC sniper is gonna be dude, furious <laughs> if he hears this. Like, this is the nerve on this motherfucker, dude. Yeah, there's no way he had the passion I had for sniping. Dude, he had the passion, bro. <laughs> yeah, I did dude. it. Did dude, you guys all have the fantasy car to snipe? Did you guys all have the fantasy of like when you first like when you first realize how cool snipers are. Yeah. And then you heard about like, you know, marksmen in the military. There was part of you where you were like, dude, I know if I enlisted and I went like, and I showed them what I'm about, they'd be like, wow, dude, we need you here. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. <laughs> well, they, I have a bad You're case. You're the new Rambo sniper. Yeah. yeah like, well, whoa. I, whenever I see that. That's we a, needed a natural talent yeah. that we could mold yeah, the, the perfect sniper. Yeah, that's the I seen something in you trope. <laughs> yeah. Like in mm-hmm. movies, like when Will Smith gets like, t- like the alien Gene powers. Police. Yeah, the alien police. Like we've watched how you worked in the FBI. It's time to go to this next level. I've been <laughs> secretly harboring that fantasy my whole life. That's, I mean, yeah. That would be. <laughs> yeah, I've seen something in you and it's time for like the secret job i would i would love that. yeah the golden child yeah it's being yeah. like 
yeah. we observe you. It's basically what you're talking about. They yeah. just observe you from afar. So in order to sweeten the deal on the, the footage you make, your documentary of a yeah. friend you might have had to fall out with, <laughs> <laughs> you'd have to approach them as like, I've been observing you and it's time for the next level for you. It's, this, is, this could be a reckoning. And show them the footage. Be like, why did you record me? Because you're going to the next level <laughs> <laughs> of us dating again. <laughs> and who's yeah. that guy who was there <laughs> Saturday night? <laughs> at 10 p.m. <laughs> okay, this is a good thing. <laughs> or just a friend, or just a regular buddy of yours. Just be like, hey, I got some footage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got the tape on you. <laughs> that would be tight. Mm -hmm. I mean, just a PI. You'd be a PI. Mm -hmm. The PI on your boys and be like, just so you know, I just want to check out on you. I just want to like check up on you, make sure you're good. So I surveilled you for a weekend <laughs> and just know that I know you're cheating on your wife <laughs> and I'm not going to tell anyone, but just know that I know that because all I had to do was surveil you for a week. That would be fun to catch yeah. one of your boys in like a hideous. No, affair. that would suck. I would hate to be so disappointed by my boys. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to let that slide. Dude, what, what, what would you be worried about? I'd be like, bro, listen, I, I, I know a guy, okay, and I was doing a thing on you, and I, let me just say I'm disappointed in the way you conduct yourself. I'd give it to him, man. The footage of him hiding yeah. in the hotel. It is sleazy yeah. behavior. I'd say, listen, dude, I didn't want to find this out about you, but I did. I got to yeah. imagine. There's, I can't, un, you know what I mean? I can't put this out of my head. I mean, dude, it has to be the shame after like especially if you're in like a like a bunch of kids and you're like you're sneaking in hotels like fucking like your oh, assistant dude. manager at you know after you come you're like yeah. that sigh over that come was just oh, be like oh dude yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so depressing oh i think your soul just leaves your body for like 3 <laughs> seconds and re-enters like get out of here while i do this like, oh, I'm so wretched that's all i think about is when i drive past like uh up on like roosevelt boulevard in northeast philly there's all these like shit motels mm -hmm. like not even they're like sub trucker stop motels and it's just like oh that that all that's for is for like people with like scrunchy 80s hair to like cheat on their spouses <laughs> with <laughs> just like dudes named keith that are like balding have to drive there and I like mean, get like a six hour room is there anything hotter <laughs> <laughs> anything hotter <laughs> And there's a dude yeah. white knuckling who has to come, just, just literally risking it all. So funny. Yeah. It is so fucking funny to me. I, yeah. I try to talk about it. Everyone's it's like, I don't, they don't see what's funny, but I'm like, dude, it's, it's so, so funny, funny. It's for so a dude funny. to be like, like a like a pastor or like just some dude who's like a leader of the neighborhood. Has like a good job, like three kids, and he's just like, he just fucking, he just gets one in him. He's like, nah, I gotta get this yeah. out the right way. Dude, yeah, gotta do this. It's big. time to hit up the cash only motel. <laughs> it's like I gotta do this one big. <laughs> no, the, the the pastor of our church was having his affair with one of my best friend's moms. What? Yeah. What happened? I mean, he ended up getting he did it big. Yeah, he, well, he did it big. His mom, yeah, his mom was hot. His mom was a hot lady. You know, and yeah, he, well, the pastor got fired, or I don't, I don't even. I think we just had to vote to get a new pastor. It was a vote. Yeah. It was like... I'd like to hear the nay. You'd be like, come on, man. Yeah, yeah. It was it was, nay. No, it was a vote for which new pastor we were getting. Oh, we, we, shit. There were like four oh, that any, came through. And did you guys have like a pastor pageant? There was. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did they, you make them like walk out and turn it? <laughs> <laughs> now let me hear you say the good book. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> true. Yeah, it was... Uh, we had we had like... In, within a week, we had four... Or within four weeks, we had... They all got a Sunday to audition. And then in the fifth week, we had to vote which one was Damn, our new pastor. Dude, the, the, the dimensions are so big. Can you close your eyes and act deeply moved? <laughs> <laughs> Can you say, mm -hmm. <laughs> Could you try this pinky ring on? <laughs> <laughs> Can you say, y'all don't know? <laughs> yeah, that's... Here's uh, a towel. Wipe your head real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I just do a dab. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, it was. Uh, How was the pass? Who did, did you? We went, did the we guy went, you like best get picked? Absolutely. That's we went with up. the young up and comer. He told a story about uh, when he was in Italy abroad studying the the Good Book. Nice. Like he was a very well educated dude. He went. Through. Is there any better dude in the world than that dude in Italy studying the Bible? Dude, he's the man. There's no more powerful dude. Dude, Pastor Anderson. Fuck. He dude. is the man. So he told a story about how when he was young and doing stuff. Uh, he was he was drinking. He was like in Italy studying the Good Book, and then he was also jumping off like from roof to roof. 
He was what? Assassin's was Creed. Like, parkour. He better not be stealing Assassin's <laughs> Creed. He's <laughs> uh, <laughs> He was a fiddler on the roof. <laughs> he was. <laughs> he was. He claims roof to roof for what? For what ends? Why was he hopping roofs? So he could I mean, he, land in hay bales on the ground. Yeah. Like a newsy <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> he, he never got into it. I think he was just trying to win over the young, the young vote. That is how you get pussy in Italy. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, man, the fucking my my friend, my friend's mom, like that fucked up his life. Yeah. Because like the the parents got divorced and of shit, course, and yeah. it was like people knew that the, it was the pastor. Uh, you know what I mean, it, dude? That was it was it, tough. It's a public one. That is tough. Yeah. Because who are you more? I mean, like obviously he's probably more mad at his mom, but it's also like, was there a kid? Did it result in the child? Yeah, that's what he. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Because that no, happened no in my house. <laughs> You had a love child. We had a fake. Yeah, we had a secret sister. For how long? Uh, I think it was like 24 when I found out. Damn. Yeah, yeah. What do you prefer? Do you prefer her out of secrecy or in secrecy? I don't, <laughs> I don't give a shit. Which it's out. It's prefer? out. But there was a while. My dad had a kid for like 20 years. None of us knew about. How did he hold that down? I have no idea. Dude, well, he just uh, didn't have a before, cell phone. Was this before your mom or an affair? Ah, uh, this is an affair. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit Matt, got wild. You want to talk about doing it big? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We did it big. Yeah, that's the next level. Yeah, yeah. You took it to the next level. It must be crazy, you know, respectfully to come after that. <laughs> like every time I came, I'd be like, "Fuck, uh, dude, I forgot yeah. about that." Dude. Oh, that's a big deal. That's a big yeah. thing. <laughs> All right, I'm going inside. Act fucking oh, cool. Whoa, man, that is wild. Yeah, man, so how did they? How did you? Like, how was this revealed? Did he know about this kid? Or yeah, apparently, uh, I got a text from her, and she was like, uh, "Hey, I'm your, I'm your sister. Your Dude. dad doesn't want you to know." I was like, "How old were you? What?" Dude, I was running uh, that mic. Oh, you're 24, you said. You're yeah, yeah, yeah. What were you doing when you got that text? Running a open mic. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. Uh, <laughs> Man, that must have been such a mind fuck. You're like, you're running this open mic, bored out of your mind. You yeah, get a yeah. text on your phone. You're like, something to pull me out of this monotony of a <laughs> shitty <laughs> open mic. Yeah, yeah. And you now, look at it. Did you say prove it? Right, prove I it. was like, no, at first, because uh, my, my uncle had given up a child for adoption. And he didn't tell his kids yet. So I thought it was. Uh, you got the wrong guy. Yeah, yeah, wrong I thought number. it was like his daughter that he gave up for adoption when he was like 14. Right family. Won't was wrong at number. the time looking looking to reconnect with that family. I was like, he gave a child up for adoption at 14. Yeah, dude. 14. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so. What is even that? Like, that's like, that's. <laughs> he was 14 years old and had a kid and was like, I can't. We can't. Oh, he yeah. was okay. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. He, he was fourteen. Yeah, he, he was fourteen adoption. when he had the kid. I thought for a second that the kid was fourteen. It was nah. like, hey, you got it. Yeah, so he's <laughs> like, I've had enough of that. That would be, be better yeah. for a new family. Also, I don't want you to know who I am. Wait, like, so why did he? Didn't isn't isn't that usually like the lady's decision? What the adoption stuff? Yeah, uh, no, they were both. Up, oh, okay. They were both they like both only fourteen. So I thought you were saying like she was like you called the ball. And yeah, he was like let's go adoption on this one. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, can you foster your own kid like temporarily? You be like, yo, just I'll be back in five years. <laughs> I like, don't know. can you like call, can you? They used to do that in the olden <laughs> days, like boarding school kind. Of yeah, yeah, that's like, what like, boarding what school is. Yeah, mm. just being like, yo, I will definitely be back. I would never let the state raise Wait, my child, dude. You're, I mean, yeah, obviously, I wouldn't, dude. That'd be nuts. It'd be a terrible, terrible thing to do. You're, you're, you're like talking in a veiled way about the black family dynamic. <laughs> 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 dude, I was fostered in so many houses. Really? Yeah, because that's how you get. That's how people get money. It can. It's like yeah, a little bit of a. Paid, yeah, a little bit of a sense. racket. Yeah. Well, you're a golden goose. Yeah, dude. I basically. was. Yeah. So, but if you, if you. You know, because my mom, like, I lived with my grandma for a little while, yeah. with my dad for a little while, and it was, like, back and forth. Or, you know, but then technically it was my stepmom. Did they, like, have a yeah. parade for you as you entered the new foster home? Like, here he is. Uh, or, you know what I mean? We're, we've added value to the household. I mean, not really. It was, uh, I felt like every time I went to a new house, they would talk all the time about how much more food they had to buy. So you're mm. talking about, you're going to, like, strangers' houses. No, it was, like, it was always, like, different family type members. But they get the foster check. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. So it was, nice. uh, but but then it was always like you know you're telling mom, you they complain about so they'd give you foster treatment though. I'm I mean definitely in my grandma's house. For it's sure. The top thing if I get a foster kid the whole time I'm like man 
<laughs> fucking tight around here these days. <laughs> man, what an expense! Yeah. What an expense yeah. you are. It's crazy. That does happen though, man. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was, con- I was yeah. constantly reminded. I've talked to how kids. much food I ate. Yeah, what the fuck, <laughs> dude? It's like I already don't feel that comfortable, guys. I don't know if <laughs> you, you know notice. <laughs> it's just kind of confusing for you me. You know what I mean? I've been uprooted out of my place of comfort, and now I'm confused. Yeah, now I'm like cutting back on the golden crisps for it. Now the <laughs> golden grams, like. No, nah, man, I just, like, fucking got jobs. Yeah. It was like, I'm not going to fucking listen to you. I'll buy my own food then. True. You know? True. Take that away from you. Now what are you going to complain about? Now they'll find something. I feel like that type of person will, not a hard thing to be like, you know what else is bothering me? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so for now, you have a secret sister. Oh, yeah, so. Older yeah. or younger? Younger. <laughs> younger. Why are you laughing at that? <laughs> no, just. Uh, yeah, apparently she was, I think it happened. When my mom was Dude. pregnant with my other brother, <laughs> Wait. I'm sorry, I can't stop. Just, I just can't stop yeah. picturing just Fennel, like, but with like long hair coming That's out of like dude, a hat, that, yeah, <laughs> no beard, no, like <laughs> eyeliner and shit. Not far off. <laughs> Not far off. Oh. Anvil Levine. <laughs> <laughs> Man, shit. Oh. Jesus Christ! Yeah, dude. So she lurks out of the shadows, uh, dude. <laughs> There were times like there was like a time I came home, she was like messaging me, and I like had to confront my father about. It. I'm like, you had a kid, and he's like, yeah, it happened a long time ago. I just kind of left fair it that. I'm like, oh, all right, fair. Uh, hey, what you bring up old shit for? <laughs> yeah, right. What are you, what are you gay? <laughs> but she like my mom didn't know, and then she uh, she started like showing up mm. and just being like, we got to tell your mom. I'm like, I don't Wait, need show to tell up her where. Shit. I love like, how he goes. We oh, got to tell her. She like, showed up the house one day. She showed up to the house. Yeah, my mom was like a couple houses over too, like at the neighbor's house, but she was out front when I got home from work. So I had to like call my dad and be like, yo, your daughter's standing out front. You need to come handle this. What'd he say? He was like, like, where's mom? I was like, she's two houses over right now, but this bitch is just drawing in the dirt with sticks right now. It's weird. (laughs) What'd he say? He's like, fuck. He he was like, he was like, he rushed, he rushed home. What was she drawing? Pentagrams? I don't know, dude. She was a weird, she was a weird egg. Yeah, she sounds like a Wiccan. Yeah. Okay, so so your dad gets home, he I go he gets home, I leave because I was like I'm not dealing with this fucking nightmare, uh, <laughs> and apparently he got her in her car and brought her back Told to you. her other. Home. Was the secret preserved? Uh, for like a week, and then she like messaged my mom. Oh my my no, yeah, dude, he thought he was still no. there. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, I love how he no. picked her up, dropped her off. was like, whew. Narrowly <laughs> 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 avoided. I mean, in his defense, it was 20 years that nobody. What if he was doing that the whole yeah, yeah. time since <laughs> she was like a little kid? <laughs> just having <laughs> to drive her home. <laughs> I, I agree. I she, mean, was, she was being a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> to be, yeah, I mean, to be fair, yeah, to, to build up a, a mother. I mean, that's a cataclysmic motherfucking at the time. Yeah. 20 years later, it's like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole and it's like yeah uh, they do the math uh, on that that's the thing that'll get a lady mad do yeah math on it. like you had sex on while i was pregnant yeah. yeah yeah which to be fair biologically speaking is kind of the <laughs> <laughs> but you're, you're like no that's the most Dude. despicable it is it's yeah. terrible yeah yeah, yeah. socially <laughs> it's the most despicable despicable yeah. thing to do yeah but at the time you're like you're you're, you're never at a more heightened sexual powered yeah. state yeah so my little brother said it one time he's like yeah you know i get it you know mom was pregnant i was like don't ever say that in front of mom. You can't be that laxed in the conversation. Well, he was just like, he said, I get it, but also like, like yeah. a dude's got to do it. Yeah, yeah. It. Kind of one of those, like, don't say that in front of mom. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> so, yeah. That's so sick that he had that thing. He was like, I mean, I get it. It's, it's like not the nicest thing to do, but like, dude, come on. Dude. Come on, man. <laughs> it's, I'm not a monk. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. it is one of those things. It's such a me- you hear like, oh my god, this is crazy. But then at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, I can see how that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Did they, did your parents stay together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was wild. I mean, the statute of limitations oh, on that divorce. Yeah. I mean, I mean, oh, yeah. he slept in the basement for a couple of weeks. But how nice of a basement is this? Uh well, it was a finished basement. They were also remodeling the kitchen at the time, so all like the old and new appliances were down there while they were gutting it. Uh, so he got him. So he got him. He was like sleeping was amongst French boxes on a shit. clean spot on the couch. You know, Make, making waffles uh, with the yeah, waffle oh maker. Yeah, there was a lot of waffle. <laughs> a lot of History Channel was watched. And a lot of waffle making was made. So he did a, he yeah. did a two week stint. Yeah, just it, in the basement. 
I think it was like partially because they had to still like talk to remodel the kitchen. Yeah. So that made it easier to start like being people with each other. Yeah, again. true. Unless the kitchen turned out bad. No, it was a pretty sick kitchen. That's what I'm saying. Nice yeah, kitchen. true. It all hinged on that kitchen. Yeah, job. dude. Yeah. If, that sick, if that kitchen went the wrong way. Oh, yeah. dude. Like, if they get like the at the very top? last seconds, like actually this grout doesn't look great with this tile. <laughs> yeah, dude, that, it's damn over. It. <laughs> that contractor probably laughed at the bank with the change orders, <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah. He's coming up. Yeah, marble countertops. Yeah, yeah marble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Radiant floors? Yeah, why not? That's fine. <laughs> yeah, he went in the basement for two weeks and then never won an argument for the rest of his life. Yeah. <laughs> no, I can totally see your point on that. I, I, that is a quality of myself that I'm trying to change. You're absolutely right about that. No, I think you're being fine in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I please come out of the basement? Yeah, that's... Yeah. Dude, I mean, I feel like dudes back then, older dudes had a higher tolerance for pissing off your wife. I feel like I'm kind of a pussy in that regard. Yeah, oh, like dudes absolutely. would like dudes would be in the doghouse for like a month and be like, <laughs> <laughs> I'd be in emotional turmoil. Like, oh my yeah. god, oh god, she's mad. I I think that was you have to have a nice enough backyard to be able to get away with that. True, yeah. true. If you're just chilling in the backyard, like doing little shit around it every day, dog, you can last in the doghouse. I might yeah. need a nicer doghouse, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I haven't yeah. been in like the hard doghouse for a minute. You yeah. also, there was also more chilling with your boys back then. True. We're bringing it back. Yeah, we're talking about. We are bringing it back. <laughs> we're bringing, we're it, bringing back. it back. This is. You've said it yeah. before, dude. You're trying to figure out how the hell how to have the best time. Yeah. yeah. Possible. We're on a mission. To how to dude. Just scientifically evidence backed evidence backed. Fun, yeah. dude. How An- you have Anthony the best hasn't time. liked me since we started doing this again, and I'm fine with it. Mm. I get oh, to yeah. hang with my boys. True. Mm. Before this, dude, I was making her. I was making her happy. Nah. nah. That, <laughs> you know, yeah, you got to keep some of that happiness for yourself, Sid. You'll find true it. True that. True that. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's like a weird thing because then if you yeah if you go too happy, then they'll start to be like this is this guy's weak. Why am I so happy right now? You gotta start yeah. to nag them, nag, slide back. You gotta nag yourself to to bounce Ooh. it off onto them. Oh, how so? Because if you get if you get a little bit too much pep in your step, they gotta bring you down. I know. So what I'm saying is like meter it, dude. Take yourself down and slow a notch, your roll, and they build you up. Yeah, yeah. That's the other thing they can't resist the flip side. If you if you're like I'm just. I don't think I have what it takes. Yeah, if you go Bruce Springsteen on them. <laughs> <laughs> That's the two modes. To it's absolutely nurture modes. and be like, no, I think you can do this. Or just be like, you're not funny and your teeth are yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it makes the enamel stronger. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, I was actually, speaking of sisters, I don't know what I was doing today. I think I, mean, I think I was listening to the Encanto sound. Do you ever listen to the Encanto soundtrack? Uh, like thirty seconds of it. It's pretty good. I'm not gonna okay. lie. They did some things on there that I'm like, wow, this is pretty nice. <laughs> so cool. So I'm listening to the Encanto soundtrack. I'm doing the dishes in the morning, and I don't know where it came into my head, but I was thinking about people who had hot sisters. Oh, I was thinking about how when I was younger, like if if you had asked me when I was like a little kid, like who's the prettiest girl you know, I would just name my cousins. <laughs> <laughs> Sick prank, dude. No, I, would, I would just always like be like, "Who do you think's the prettiest?" I'm like, "My cousin Teresa." And I was like, "When I was like six, oh uh, okay, okay." I was like, my, "I was like when I was like kindergarten." It was before I moved out of Havertown. I was like five years old. Okay, so I would just like name my aunts and my cousins like the prettiest girls I know. Yeah. Oh no, that's sweet. Yeah, it was just it was very just, sweet. It was making me laugh. But then I started thinking about. I never had older sisters. So I started thinking of the sick and twisted dynamic. I was like, there's nobody hornier than a little brother teasing his older sister for having a boyfriend. <laughs> you know your boyfriend? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just jams his bone right in the rock. Dude. Like, like, <laughs> it goes to steam all practice. <laughs> there's no hornier kid. Say <laughs> ski ball practice. <laughs> no team ball. Oh. <laughs> There's no hornier kid. It's, it's like subconscious horniness. He's like doesn't even connect the dots. He's like, oh yeah, have fun. The guy's a fucking loser. <laughs> Place Nintendo on his stomach. Just <laughs> Just curling his dick on the rug. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> I had a chuckle about that this morning. I was doing the dishes like... Uh, I thank God he got spared that level of horniness. He's like bringing his legs up and like flopping his feet <laughs> on the floor. Back <laughs> 
It's like a thin yeah. carpet on a cement basement floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Fucking scotch is a loser. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, that was me playing Mike Tyson's punch out on the, on the basement yeah. floor. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, I love it. That makes me laugh so fucking hard. I thought about my whole... I was doing the dishes and my whole sexual journey flashed before my eyes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now I'm just steadfast, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we can't have this much fun, dude. We can't have this much fun. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get in trouble. We cannot have this much fun. We have, <laughs> fucking, we have a dude. <laughs> There's a dude. We came in to record this. There's a guy in the fucking hallway just sitting there, all oh, tatted yeah, up. Dude. Scared the shit out of me. He had a pentagram on his hoodie. Yeah, dude. We have a devil worshiper outside the door, just sitting there. <laughs> so, Immediately, yeah, I'm a psycho. So I'm like, that has something to do with me, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, a sketchy dude though. I think I don't know. Well, is there, is there a part of you that wants like a sketchy dude to be after you so you can yes. check him? Dude, of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. All right. All of a sudden I have to get on an alley. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched uh Tomb Raider the movie last night. I watched half of it with Brittany, dude. It's so it's literally just just that. The Angelina Jolie one? It's so fucking funny. Yeah, she likes it. Brittany's a big fan of the movie, so again, I'm doing the thing where I'm not <laughs> trashing shit. Dude. So I just watch it, and I just have to be like, "Huh, wow, that's kind of funny." She like that robot like knocked over a pillar, but she somehow like pushed his arms back toward himself. She's like, <laughs> I'm "Like, I mean, just, just you know, whatever, no problem." <laughs> weird. Wow. The best is like when the bad guy. She's already like she's like the the butler, of, and I called it too. I'm like, "This butler's gonna when it comes time, it's gonna be kind of a badass." <laughs> That's a big movie trope where it's like super proper, and someone comes yeah. in, they put on the bulletproof vest and grab a shotgun. It's like, damn, dude, I know this guy had this side to him. So like I'm watching this. That guy goes, "Don't stay up too late, late, my lady," because she's a lady. Her dad was a lord, and uh, she's like, "Oh, I won't," and then just starts bungee jumping in her house like gracefully. And I was like, "Dude, what the <laughs> fuck? Who the fuck?" <laughs> Yeah, is she doing like Cirque du Soleil shit? Like, and people come into her house, drape like, dancing. Yeah, she's literally, but in bungee jump, like yeah, bungee jumping, no, doing, yeah, like the scarves. Yeah, just like doing like the Cirque okay, du Soleil, and then bad Jesus. guys come in, and she's like perfect, and like yeah. drops down. Good thing I'm already warmed up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was a good line. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be tight. I I want so badly to make a, and making an action movie like this would be tight, but you can't let the cat out of the bag that it's a joke. Or I want to do a soap opera where it's like a very serious soap opera, but it's like the, the dialogue is so fucking nuts. Are you are you exposed to a lot of soap operas in your household? I wasn't. Yeah, I was I not. Was, wow. I wasn't. I, I like that was something I saw like as an older person was like, what the fuck are these? It's I, I, like it's like, OK, it's a tense energy to put out in this, the house. This was what it I had to like. Intense. I had to change my brain again. The, what we were talking about or like you let them have their bitch stuff. Yeah. And <laughs> Dude, I fought against soap operas for so long. Like General Hospital and shit. I'd be like, this is the most retarded thing yeah. currently being produced by human beings. They're, they're crazy. And I'm like, I'd be saying it and laughing to myself. And she would just be like, st like it, it probably felt terrible. And I was laughing so hard every day. And then eventually I was just like, this is her thing. I'm good. Yeah. I need to chill. And is, I think it's been a couple of years. Is General a couple, Hospital a classic soap? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm talking about the old ones where they like... like one Life... Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They've they, all like, been around yeah. since like the 50s. It's crazy, dude. And they have... It's just nothing but takes of a person like looking like... Well, dude, yeah. well, I, I, the lighting's like... Everyone knows where crazy. soap operas came from, right? Where? They were like... When when uh, people got like comfortable and had television and stuff like that and, and housewives had like less duties because like technology was getting better. Yeah. They were like getting bored in the household. And then soap operas... Came, soap operas came around to like advertise household products and they were just like very they weren't even like disguised it was just like sh like accessing a part of a woman's brain that enjoys when like the most obvious shocking thing happens but with like a dramatic cue and like a slight like <laughs> yeah that it, was a hypnotic that was like hacked, dude. housewife hypnotic speed error too. yeah yeah 
Damn, so they were really and bored I think out of their mind. I, I might, I might be wrong, but I don't even think they were doing commercials originally. I think eventually, like characters of the show, would be like in the middle of an argument. They'd be like, "Well, thank goodness these, you know, <laughs> kitchen Brillo pads are the ultimate." Br- you know? yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And women at home would be like, "Oh my god, god. It, <laughs> grease stains." Is that me? If I buy that, you could have been a soap opera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you'd be like, "I just found out I have a secret sister." <laughs> yeah, 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 dude. By you, who? I'm like soap opera, so maybe that's why she's stuck it out. True, dude. Yeah, I yeah, was it's the ultimate gift. <laughs> True. Yeah, the, there's like this, there seems to be this like uh, secret technique to be a man in a soap opera, where you just like when you you talk, you have to have this like real desire to come. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. It's like yeah. a, it's a really weird way that they talk. It's dark secret energy. It's heavy. <laughs> I, have, I, I have a dark secret and I need to come right now. And you know, yeah. dude, yeah. your full voice never comes out. It's always like it's, I it's, told you I'm not the spinel. It's borderline you know vampire. I mean? <laughs> it is. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they got I mean, dude, that must have been like a deep CIA project of just chilling the base out. <laughs> they must have been getting yeah, crushed. Dude. You have dudes in the Pentagon be like, hold on. <laughs> yeah. Pick up the fucking landline. Like, Jesus, I know. Okay. Yeah. Like, we got to come up with something. Yeah. They're like, uh, that is funny. Like, talking like that, like you're about to come attracting women because, like, they know you're about to be emotionally available in like six seconds. <laughs> 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 you're like edging women. Oh, you're edging women. Emotional, yeah. emotional yeah, yeah, availability. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Just around this boner, there's a <laughs> deep connection. Yeah. You dangle it. <laughs> Keep going. It is funny that like I might know. start getting seductive around the house. <laughs> you got it, dude. You got no well, choice. Like, yo, you know what'd be awesome? Walking cool. Oh, I can't. Oh, oh yeah. You imagine nailing a cool walk. Yeah, that'd be awesome, dude. I don't. I don't have many like social insecurities. But my biggest one is the idea that anybody is perceiving me trying to be sexy. Really? Do I am that it like You're telling me you haven't been trying at all this whole time. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> dude it, it it plagues my life, man. Thinking you're trying to turn on the sex? <laughs> yeah. Like the idea like yeah. Like my my mom, like even since I was a little kid, my mom was like, You gotta be sexy. You gotta be, you, have, like, you have to have a sexy walk. You have to have a sexy True. walk. True. Yeah. yeah. Like that, were you working on the walk? No, I was anti sexy walk my whole entire life. What? Damn, it was like I was rebelled. rebelling against my so mom. So, what did you think when that song hit by that car didn't help, out. though? I bet that <laughs> fucked up your sexy walk. Dude, oh, I, true. Yeah. The I'm Too Sexy song. That must have fucked you up. Dude, that was, like, I was very conflicted. <laughs> it was a good song. It <laughs> yeah. was a good song. So your mom told you you had to be sexy. Yeah, that was my mom's thing. It was like, dude, my, the, the life that I narrowly avoided. What, you know, it was like. A sexy guy. Dude, sexy guy, looking Propelled by his mom. dress. Yeah, fresh. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, especially if you're like, I'm being sexy on my mom's orders. That's like the full. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, now that, I, now that I think about it, you almost you narrowly avoided a, yeah. A, yeah. a path I can. I know a gentleman. I think he was on this quest. Dude, dude. <laughs> dude they're out there. Yeah. They're out there. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Um, so how'd you beat this? How'd you get out of this? Man, I just became a good athlete and questions stopped getting a, you know it was yeah, just like true, true. All right, he has a thing you know Damn. he's you almost he, the you're i mean what if you just revert it the other way and went full like silk button down with dragons and shit? <laughs> dude she would have been into that oh, like, that is sexy, that's my, sexy as hell yeah my mom like my, my cisco was big back then too sorry yeah to off so my, my mom was like raising two boys by herself and she had this like she was absolutely terrified of her sons being the two boys that couldn't get pussy Sounds like, good. I mean, it sounds reasonable. yeah, but it was like it was like a fear response. Like her, it was her reaction to the way she saw dudes that couldn't get pussy. Uh yeah. Do you, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So it was like well, nobody wants people at like a genetic kid level. either. Like that's got to be a fear. I don't have like you guys are dads. Yeah. None of you were. Yes. Didn't you guys all at one point were afraid? Like oh, I hope my kid's not ugly. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. Nobody wants the ugly kid. That's why it's you know what you got like a whole lifetime of not telling that kid you've got he's like, ugly. You've got a good couple of months after they're born before you have any reassurance that they're Ooh, not just horrific. Jesus. Looking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I've never thought I was like Brittany will joke around about it. Brittany always jokes around and says we're gonna get a toad. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get a toad. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know, I hope we don't get a toad, but it, you know, I try not to think about stuff like that because it fucking spins me out. They're trying to reverse yeah. psychology of the universe. I think she is. I think she is. She's, oh, I'm gonna get a toad on this one. <laughs> like, stop saying we're gonna get a toad. 
<laughs> not getting a toad. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. <laughs> She says that all the time. I'm like, stop. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that is a uh, that is pretty funny. Now I have a superstition that if you like keep everything kind of pleasant during the pregnancy, the baby comes out attractive. There's no right? like yeah, ugly babies you, are created. You don't put any stress on that baby. It doesn't come out with like it smokes back. Yeah, a day. pre-stressed baby. Yeah, we had. A, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that baby might turn into a cunt one day. Just <laughs> yeah, you might get. Ri- that might be how you get rich face. Yeah. Oh, did you ever see rich yeah. face? Yeah, dude. There's there's poor face. You get mm-hmm. where the dude's like face also. Then rich face is the exact opposite. <laughs> yeah. It's like a really Gaston chin, and like a fucking like perfect nose and like a oh, very cheek. prominent features. It's like yeah, square. Yeah. Yeah, it's rich yeah. face. You get like yeah. square, like hard cheekbones. Yeah, that butt chin. Yeah. 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 I'm telling you, there's. I go to places. If you go to Villanova, like you on the college campus, there's a lot of rich face. I went to I went to Bryn Mawr for my master's degree, and I would get off sometimes. Like I would get on the train, and like dudes would pop on, and there's like four rich face dudes. Pop on. <laughs> Fuck, dude, rich face. It's very prom. It's very prominent. And they like lightly fill out like a polo shirt perfectly. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you create that in the womb. Rich face. Yeah, but uh, I, I do feel like you know. You you look at you look at like ugly people seem to come from like a long line of like ugly yelly people. It's a hard dude. It's a hard <laughs> life. If yeah, you're, if your your genes are in a downward spiral, if and you're, you're just the next layer. If you're absolutely buzzed, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a tough life, dude. <laughs> dude. Yeah. If you're like completely buzzed, me and Anthony <laughs> were talking about this the other day, right? Being busted, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like <laughs> all these people complaining about like oppression and shit, like uh-huh. you know, like racial racial oppression, uh, homosexual oppression, <laughs> trans <laughs> oppression. Go where on. It's like, Dude, who has it worse than ugly people? Being someone who's busted. busted. If you're oh, busted? busted, yeah, but nobody wants to come forward and say we are the busted. <laughs> dude, <laughs> busted we people. are the busted. Yeah, we're busted. taking that word back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bust they're us. blocking highways <laughs> and shit. Yeah, yeah, dude. Well, luckily, just crushing them. <laughs> dude, you can you can smack an ugly person in the back of the head. We like legally, like like <laughs> especially like if they say if they say something kind of stupid. You're like, get out of here, with dummy. That. Yeah, yeah. Get ugly yeah, and yeah. dumb. Get a brain. Get out of here. <laughs> well, luckily, if they, if they yeah, ask a dumb question, you're like, yeah. fucking out. You can kick them in the ass to make them leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Give them like a, yeah. a boot. Fool. All legal, dude. Yeah. Damn, dude. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, Pennsylvania. That's a crazy thing to get hung up on. Just being like, just looking at your face and like, do I have a good one? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, fuck. Like, yeah. that, <laughs> you know what always tripped me up was thinking about like the casting process for like big fat retards in movies. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, dude. You read the script and you go, okay. <laughs> <laughs> How much we paying? Okay. <laughs> <sighs> 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 Thought he was going to play the hero again. <laughs> it's like, no, we're going to splash water on you from a car. <laughs> Kids are gonna laugh at you. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna fall in front of three kids on BMXs and then <laughs> fart. <laughs> and even though they're actors, they're gonna laugh at you all day over that shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, they, I feel like even like uh, like beautiful actresses have to. Dude, when I was fat, when I was a fat kid, I was like, "That's my future." Dude, I'm going to be yeah. a big comic fat relief. retarded guy falling down and farting in a movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Zany com- comic relief. <laughs> See, right, rules for dudes, it's like, who cares? It's just like ladies will get fucked up when it's like, like if you're like a hot actress and all of a sudden now you're playing like, now you're Julia Roberts and stepmom. That's got to be tough. You see the young starlets and you're like, no, nah, I'm the cool stepmom. And mm-hmm. It's like, yeah. it's got to be a, you know, mm. it's like women a lot of times hate younger women on like just a regular level. But like once you put like full production squads behind them, that's yeah, got to be tough. When you're in the elite of entertainment <laughs> and yeah. now suddenly it's like. You have to remember when you were considered like the hottest fucking person in the world. Yeah, now it's just like, I you know now it's like I'm not so old that it's too horrific to look at. I'm just you know getting by. I'm just oh, exactly. That's a shame. Or you see like your numbers, your pay kind of slowly dwindle a little oh, bit. Oh yeah. Although I don't, I feel like they're they'd be still stri- like Jay Roberts, probably striking a hard bargain. It's it's probably Buku bucks. To get yeah, Jay Roberts well, on the movie. Like, Who's the most? Who do you think is the most expensive person to get into a movie right now? Right now, I don't even know. I bet comes. you it was Will Smith up until the slot. probably yeah, up <laughs> yeah. until his which shit. I don't give a shit about. Yeah. I was just saying it's someone else. It's all about the business. Just name someone else. Johnny Depp, Jay Depp, dude. He's in the he's in yeah, he's hot someone, water too, yeah, man. Dude. dude, his fucking the oh court. the Rock. Oh uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It seems like he does a lot of shit. Well, it's all Disney shit. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, getting, he's, he's getting paid. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's just nuts to be like, it's gonna. They're gonna give me a hundred million dollars. Right? It's probably what is like probably thirteen million bucks. No, no, he's, twenty he's, minimal, yeah. dude. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That We're was not old even, you're not even considering a guy until they're over twenty million on a movie, like yeah. Tom Cruise. And that was back million. in the day. That was in like the nineties. Twenty million was the thing. Yeah, that's got to be up now. Dude, it's it's got to be probably a like, hundred. It's probably like a hundred million, and then mind. like you get a dollar for every like third ticket or something like. Imagine doing that and like kind of fucking up. Doing a movie for twenty million dollars, and everyone's like, "Dude, that movie was the worst." That was worst <laughs> You're just like, "Oh, yeah. sorry about that." It's all—I don't know. It's only when it's like a financial bomb that it matters. Like true. People hate people hate some very successful movies. That's true. Mm-hmm. That, that's yeah. so. That, I guarantee that does not bother for them. Like once the check clears, you're just like, "Whatever, dude. I don't care." That's true. Johnny Depp's in hell right now, dude. Yeah, I've been following his. I don't. I don't. I haven't followed. I haven't like looked into it. I just. I see the headlines, and every time it's court's like not going well. It's just a fact about his sex life. Yeah, mm. the I, last three weeks have just been like Johnny Depp had a threesome, and it's like Johnny Depp's wife cheated on him. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. I, I was. Uh, I was under the impression that things were going well based off of uh, a tweet I saw from Candace Owens. What did she say? It was like because uh, Amber Heard is the name of the chick. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. So, yeah. It was like. When it, when it, when it first came out, I was one of the people saying Amber Heard is lying. So I thought maybe proof that she yeah, but lying. that's Candace Owens. Yeah. She's yeah. never on the winning side, you know. I don't know, man. I, I think she's got good points. I, <laughs> I, 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 she's Candace, absolutely right. I am hypnotized. She's absolutely, by this is Owens. one of those things where it's like you're absolutely right, but like no one gives a shit. But that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. that. So like. So it's not going well. Yeah, yeah. Even enough. though it should be the yeah, J Depp yeah. situation. I don't know. Yeah. I just know like. Wife cheated on him. Like, ah, damn! I saw that headline. She like, like threesome shit in the bed at one point. Either she her or her friend took a shit in his bed yeah. during a threesome. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it was like, like a vengeance. It was a vengeance. Turn, it wasn't dude. a pleasure dump. It was yeah, a vengeance yeah. dump. Right. I was like, I'm gonna come. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that. No, That's no. when you hit the 3D printer, dude. <laughs> 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 Dude, there'd be nothing more satisfying than making your babe log out like a full fucking log, dude. The 3D printer. Oh, my God. Dude. Would you ever feel any more fulfilled no, knowing dude. you log? Like you squir- you're like, yeah, squirting's cool, I guess. <laughs> what do you know about getting the log, dude? Getting the full readout on your performance. Oh, shit. I got the receipt. Damn, dude. <laughs> oh. Oh, did you make her come? Prove it. Log. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> she, she shirted. <laughs> no, it's not shit, dude. It's shirt. <laughs> yeah, the butt makes like different stuff. <laughs> Just like they were to... <laughs> I still to this day, I'm like, wait, so when girls work and peeing, it's like, nah, it's like girl, it's like pussy stuff that comes out. Yeah. <laughs> the body makes like, wait, oh wait, we're fucking. It makes a different liquid that's like more girl come than pee. <laughs> but only if you're super good at fucking. <laughs> Like, whoa, okay. <laughs> it's not pee at all. <laughs> no, man. Yeah, Jesus. dude. <laughs> <Jesus Christ>. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, my God. Yeah, so. what are we, how, I don't know how we even got into that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Amber Heard shitting on the bed. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean, Johnny dude. Depp, dude. How about Bruce Willis? That dude's lost his mind. What's up with him? His br- He's got like Alzheimer's now. He doesn't nice. like, he's like showing up on sets and they're like, he doesn't know what he's even here. Oh my yeah. God. Apparently for years, they've just been in his in earpiece just reading him lines. But it's oh, just gotten no. like, I mean, I'm not going to, I don't want Alzheimer's at all, but yeah. like if I was going to have it, I would want to have it as Bruce Wayne. <laughs> yeah, True. yeah, yeah, dude. True. Yeah. You know? Like the weird, yeah. like the cool dude. Especially when you start to really forget yeah. who you are, and like oh the guy God. has to like have you watch Die Hard over and over. Yeah. Like, That's me. And like, yeah, dude. start thinking. He probably starts thinking. Doesn't even know what's not a fucking. That was dude. dude. That'd be nice. This Whoa. just occurred to me that Bruce Willis might have been one of the sickest dudes ever. Yeah, he's up there, yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, fuck. For now, who do you think's the sickest dude ever? Ooh, we're in the search for the sickest guy in the world. I don't know. It's fair. That's, that's, a, that's a, a tough, tough question. One. Take yeah. Stu on yeah. that. Someone sent me the. Uh, who do you? Who who have you gotten before? Who's your? Who would my pick be? Yeah, my pick would be probably Paul Check. 
Nobody knows who he is. He's a guy on YouTube that builds stone structures to charge his water. It's pretty tight. <laughs> the guy's pretty fucking nasty. Uh, yeah, all right. Wild. Uh, pretty tight. Yeah, his, vid- his videos are genuinely kind of funny. What about Sid and Butter? Who you guys got? Hmm. I don't know. We were, we, were, we were texting about this the other day, and I, I was stuck on Kobe Bryant posthumously. Ooh. But yes, okay. So yeah. but there's going to be two he categories. There's, sick yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, de- there's dead or alive. So, dead or alive. Oh. Yeah, sickest so, dude dead? The sickest dude historically. That's probably a nice way to say oh, it. Dude, I'm historical ben sicker Franklin. dudes. That dude was a lunatic. BF? Yeah, dude. Fair enough. But uh, we are in the search for the living. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah, we're living, we're, living yeah, we're gonna dude st- alive. I don't know, man. Little Wayne's my close second alternate. It's my close second alternate. I don't know, dude. It's tough. Okay, I want to. Uh, I feel like it'd be corny to say Bill Murray, but he does kind of live his fucking life however he likes. Fair enough. I don't know much about him. He just shows up at parties and shit and just plays. We'll just like fucking drink with random people. Yeah, and I don't know. I, I don't know why I've always been kind of like a distrustful of Bill Bill Murray's. Yeah, no, there's persona. still something weird about him. No, I mean, he's probably fine. I just yeah. he doesn't impress me. I'm not. I'm not trying to be negative. I guess yeah, I have yeah. to be honest. This is the sickest dude we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And there's a lot of people for now. I think that would agree with you. Yeah, yeah. But I'm a tough. I'm gonna need to sell on this. So I'm gonna have to do a deep dive and see what. Dude, he, what <coughs> yeah. I I think if I had to put a name forward, I would go with Chris Cole, the skateboarder. He is, I mean, I've, I'm racking my brain, and uh, like this is this might be last man standing, sickest dude in my head, Chris Cole. Chris Cole, uh, yeah, I uh, I got to like stay at uh, with his family in California like ten a long time ago, tight, like over ten years ago. I don't know, it was a very very long time ago, and uh, so he's like one of the gnarliest pro skaters of all time, and uh, I, I see his like. Qu- incredible like house in california and his fucking setup is like the ultimate and then uh we're, we're staying and he's just so cool the whole time like we were friends of uh his wife like and we're visiting out there gotcha, and got gotcha. you hung around so then um he at one point he's showing me like one of the coolest guitars i've ever seen with like a full double stack in his house he was like hey man check this out and he turns on the guitar and he just starts shredding and i was just like whoa <laughs> so on top of the hospitality and being like shredding an extreme dude who like has paid for his entire life with gigantic cardboard checks yeah yeah he, he, he oh, come into his fuck, home he's like yeah tough. dude here's an incredible weekend by the way <laughs> <laughs> let me just shred real quick yeah, yeah. that's Damn, that's dude. a tough one that's the kind of shit that i think yeah. about yeah we might have to have start getting video quality in here so we can start watching because i can i can curate clips yeah that's mm-hmm. i think that's the move that well move. Someone this, just, this will be out a couple weeks in a few i think we're already gonna have this sorted out by the time anyone sees this sure for yeah. sure yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah hopefully we did you're welcome no that'll be it'll be fun someone sent me the uh did you ever fuck with the tate brothers uh, uh, I I saw the, someone send some videos in the Tate Speech podcast, dude. It's, no. it's so fucking funny. I don't know. I don't know that it's a it's a good recommendation, but I don't know that I would also yeah go them in the absolutes. I mean, the dude, the dude's nasty. I'll get definitely nasty as hell. He's uh, it's very funny. He he does. They do a, the video the dude sent me was so like they got their house rated because they're they were like traveling oh, I in did, London. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. They got their yeah, house yeah. rated. And the only thing that made me laugh the hardest was like so they're like explaining why their house got rated by the police, and they're saying is like so my brother brings back this chick home, obviously doesn't call her back again, so she got he goes because my brother and he's like like his name whatever his name is my brother's blah 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 Tate and they cut to a fucking compilation of his brother being sick. <laughs> like, and it cuts to a compilation of his brother like on boats doing like driving fast and being like. <laughs> flexing oh, <laughs> yeah and I, 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 didn't, I didn't see the rest of it but i was like damn i that is such a nice thing to do for your brother anytime you bring him up there's a compilation of him just like fucking like just, yeah, just proving ass. why he gets pussy yeah. he's like he didn't call her back because it was like <laughs> and it cuts right back to the video and it's like it's like there's like an airplane landing he's on a boat then he flexes and it's like, it's like, obviously he's not gonna call a girl back yeah that's cool it's pretty tight dude I was, like, I was laughing so hard powerpoint presentation of why my brother is oh, sick man. that's a sick thing to do yeah dude, yeah Make a presentation yeah, well, like why a dude shreds. That. Yeah. yeah, that's because yeah. So we're looking for the sickest dude ever for so now, so that's we can a good bring him on the podcast. Dude. Yes, exactly. But that's a good format for it. Like I, like, I just got. I was like, damn. You make a quick like montage yep. of this dude being sick. Yeah, yeah. And it's like whoa, damn. like a reel, but just like 
That'd However be, you want to spin it. That'd be the, the sick tapes. Exactly. Send, send it's the sick yeah, tapes. Send in, send in the sick tapes. <sighs> true. That's true, how, true, true. I want to see that. I want to gain that footage and see what's damn, good out dude. there, dude. I mean, it's, you know, it's, look, don't be, I would say, yeah, don't I'm be scared. Yeah, pulling Murray out then. I feel like there's more pressure on it to be... Oh, I, dude! I didn't want to oh. nag. I didn't want to oh. nag your your pick. I just no. I know you. I know totally you were I, I have just, to be now totally I feel honest, like, I'm gonna have to like. I want to do research if I'm throwing in on. I know. I, yeah, I, I was. I was thinking about this the other day. You know like, I mean? does, does to be fair, for now, I was supposed to give you that. Sorry, so I was yeah, supposed yeah. to give you research. Uh, Danny Doves told me to like give that to you like day oh. before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I completely in your materials. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, sir. like yeah. Does the sickest dude ever have to be 420 friendly? No. You know, because I was thinking like ABL Anthony Ryan Logan. Dude, he's got to be one of the sickest dude ever. He's pretty nasty. Yeah, he's the man. He Who's rules. That? ABL rules. Strong black conservative. Strong black conservative. <laughs> Talking head on YouTube. Just Damn. the man. Nice. Yeah, he's up there. I mean, dude, wait till you guys get a load of Paul Trek. You guys are going to go, what the fuck? Yeah. He's so, him, him and his mom are arguing about COVID right now. So he doesn't even talk to his mom. He only talks to her soul. i like, is this my mother's soul? And he'll wait till he feels it. <laughs> yeah. And he'll be like... Can we please just love each other on this level? <laughs> and he doesn't. He like if he has beef with people, he just loves their soul and talks from soul to soul. Again, while they don't know, and then then he has a, then he'll go out and like charge his water and his stones. This dude is the best, dude. He's so because he had a falling out about COVID. He was trying to give her some literature to like teach her some stuff. Wait, what was her, what was his stance on COVID? Uh, my friend Paul Check is distrustful of the government. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to get him in trouble. But yeah, I mean, if I could talk to souls, I'd probably be a little bit worried. Uh, about oh, him. Wow. Yeah, dude. It's pretty tight. That was the thing I heard. I'm like, damn, that fucking rules. Okay. <laughs> it's like, and you feel, you get uplifted. Once you link in, you link with it and you go, it's like, mom, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, see, and I die. And he's like, and then you know, if he does that long enough, he's like, I notice that usually you'll, they'll see a change in that person. They don't realize it. Yeah, no Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's na- and he's ripped too. He's he's a fitness dude. He's jacked. Oh, that's, that's sick. <laughs> wow, he does. He sounds like. Uh, I mean, dude, is he famous? No, I, weirdly enough, dude, is he just some guy you know. No, he's a ton. Of, no, I don't know him. He's. A, oh, okay. I'm, I want to meet. I want to talk to this dude. One yeah, day. He's, let's he's get him in the tomb. <laughs> he has the Czech Institute. He fit. He found. He like founded his own school of kind of like personal training kinesiology and slacklining. And slack. <laughs> he's for sure <laughs> slacklining. <laughs> dude, he's. It's so funny. His videos make me laugh very hard. But yeah, he well, had. Sounds sick. It's pretty tight. It is pretty tight. Does he have rich dude face? Not at all. Damn. Not at all. That would be tough if he did. Uh, <laughs> you know who has? I feel like. Do you think Liver King has rich dude face? Dude, you know who might be you, you, the professor from the and one mixtape tour? Professor would be nasty. Dude, he might. Like, he might be the sickest dude ever. Yeah, that's that's close. It's dude. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be. Yeah. It's gonna be tough. We're gonna have yeah. to really, you know, figure out metrics for this because this is tough. So yeah. whatever, we'll figure it out. I was watching, I went through this phase where I was just watching like ballers on YouTube for a little while. That's a tight phase. Yeah, yeah. Like That's street a, ballers or like ballers no, just in like, general? Just like, 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 like people who like for some reason couldn't make it to the NBA, but they got personality so they can have like a massive following and shit. Nice. And uh, they're good. They, they, they go for the different courts like in different hoods and shit and just oh, ball really? out. Yeah. I never thought about that. Do you know what I don't like is how I've been seeing too many like kind of dorky white dudes killing it like going into like neighborhood courts and like stunting on like the local black dudes like really? wow Is that a, a nerdy thing? white guy can dunk how cool i mean i'm not i'm not digging it 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 is funny like i'm i always enjoy uh when uh like a white person on site looks like they can't do something you know like that's why i like the professor i think that's this might be a genetic thing like this is the way your brain is wired. You don't think you have the oh yeah. shit gene? I yeah, there's absolutely no. Yeah, I'm like oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's, it's no, wild. no, specifically for like white, white incompetent dudes who can like like a fat guy that can parkour. You know what I mean? You say, we, you don't we look like at that. that. We're like oh, okay, right? You say wait, just I, I'm just why so you have it straight. You're saying if a you're not impressed if a fat guy just nimbly parkours. I'll watch it. I'll be like, that's pretty tight. But like, but you're not going to be like, you're going to act like you didn't think he couldn't do that. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But it, like, it, I mean, it goes I the same for, cool. it, will, it does good. The oh shit gene does go the same for black people too. Like a, a fat black dude, like ripping it in parkour. Yeah, it's true. It's like, damn dude. 
That well, that is better because it is like <laughs> everything. <laughs> it'd be like and one parkour. It'd be and one of fat parkour. Yeah, you know what I mean. There'd be more sizzle on it than yeah, when the white guy did it. Well, I think what said what it sounds like you're bringing up is what's our what would our oh shit be? Mm. Dude, oh, I get I yeah. get a, I get a lot of oh shits in basketball because I can yeah. I can physically do things people assume that I can't do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like a full think. back bend on the court. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ever see a pirouette? <laughs> I, can, yeah, I can get my leg behind my head. Guys, watch this. <laughs> I think our oh shits are kind of like widely frowned upon. And like, a lot of times they're, they're mostly like, microaggressions. To be like, <laughs> it's like monster trucks. <laughs> it's not really like people. It's always like monster trucks and shit like that. What do you mean? Uh, like dude. for for white dudes? The, white dudes with monster it's trucks? Oh shits more for like mechanical stuff. Like monster trucks and like fast cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But there, there, there's dude, a, watching a dude like whip around a dirt track. You're like, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but that, that that crosses in the Venn diagram. Yeah, of for like, sure. Like hood black people and redneck white people. Oh yeah, like the Strong love, the love for machinery. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. True. Dirt track demolition derby. Yeah. There's yeah, there's, souped up yeah. machinery. <laughs> yeah, that's decked very, out. Very true. Tri- tricked out machinery. Yeah, there's yeah. that. There's that theory. That's the Thomas Sowell book. Uh, what was it called? White redneck black liberal. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, it's the other way. Black, black redneck white liberal. That's the yeah, book. yeah, yeah. But yeah, but yeah, that was a theory that like a lot of American black culture can be like linguistically traced back to like the like weird plains of like outside of Britain between Ireland. There was like a wild like people that were the first European immigrants come over here, and there was yeah. a lot of like hanging out basically. The, the, like the whole the, the point that he's making is that like from. hood behavior is stolen old white behavior. I like oldie, it. it's yeah. oldie, yeah. it's old oldie school. white behavior. Wow, this sounds Conor McGregor. Cool. This it's sounds cool. like <laughs> Irish were the original slaves talk. If yeah, you ask dude. me, <laughs> yo, I think it's it's more no, like just Irish had the original swag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> This sounds like cursive tattoos on bellies talk. <laughs> <laughs> not, dude, it's the book, not my book. Thomas Sowell yeah. came up with the book. Thomas Sowell is also the man. He, he, he is a fucking yeah. the man. But dudes, um, black guy by the way. For those of you who don't know, Thomas Sowell yeah. is a is an African American. To be fair, to be fair, to him, respect him. The uh, should we take a break? Yeah. <laughs> take I think it's a perfect yeah. time. Where are we at? Oh, sick. Let's yeah, wrap we just this up. take a break and then wrap it up, or yeah. wrap it up and take a break. Take a break and wrap it up. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Let's take a break and then wrap this up and then get into Patreon. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Word. Oh, you want to wrap it up? <laughs> let's wrap it up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You want to yeah, wrap this up? I don't want to like take a fifteen minute break and then record four, four minutes. minutes of a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just like <laughs> us readjusting in chairs the whole time. Okay. Yeah, it would just be done. It, it was just, done. it was just yeah. the idea of doing that was just so funny. To me. Yeah, so I, I <laughs> yeah, want to take a yeah, nice yeah. long break and come back <laughs> yeah, in. Come we got, we're done. <laughs> yeah, we're just done. Let's just be done. Let's go to the Patreon. Yeah, you want to just yeah. hop into Patreon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a Patreon, so yeah, let's hop in it.